This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company Illumio. I'm sitting down right now with Chris Westfall, who is head of product marketing at the company. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I got a lot of uh, great questions here from our tech team, so you ready to get started? I am. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Okay, so first one. Can you tell us about the founding of Illumio? Who are the founders and why did they decide on yeah, this Yeah, sure. So, so our founders, our CEO is Andrew Rubin and our CTO is PJ Kerner. And they both kind of approached this, uh, well, they, they come from a security background and asked the question, why is it so hard to stop lateral movement? You know, we see and we hear about more and more lateral movement and lateral threats in the data center. And um, looking at you know, some of the traditional methods, namely firewalls, it's been very difficult to, to stop these lateral threats. Mm-hmm. You know, we continue to see breaches. Um, we continue to see um, exfiltration of data. We continue to see these big companies be affected. You know, these big, sophisticated companies be affected by these uh, security events. And so they, you know, they, they asked, why, why are we not able to stop these with traditional methods? So they looked for it for a different way to, to do that, an easier way. Um, and that, that's how they kind of arrived at this idea for Illumio uh, micro segmentation. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. And what would you say the elevator pitch would be for Illumio? Uh, well, I, yeah, I just came from from Europe, Black Hat Europe, and, and did this nice. a bunch of times. So I think I have the <laughs> elevator pitch down. But we're we're a data center and cloud security company. Okay. Uh, we do two big things for our customers. Number one, we allow them to see all the activity behind the data center, or behind the data center firewalls. Mm-hmm. Those kind of, um, uh, or I should say the perimeter firewalls. Um, and you know, as we talk to customers, these are things that, that they don't see. Um, it's really the connectivity, the communications of applications and the components of those applications. And then with that, that visibility, we allow them to create micro-segmentation policy to control that communication. So see it and then control it, uh, really being able to stop the, you know, the spread of, of, of unauthorized communications, mm-hmm. the spread of a threat, those sorts of things. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. And so now what stage would you say the company is currently in? So we're, you know, we're still a private company. We're a startup, although we, this year, earlier this year, we closed our, our round D of funding. Um, nice. So we, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty well backed by, um, by some of the, you know, the industry um, uh, VCs, some big mm-hmm. name VCs. So um, although we're, we're still early in our, in our life cycle, we're, you know, third year in market, we are, uh, we've got a really healthy. Uh, run. We've got some good customers and are, uh, are having a good time. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of customers, who would you say uses Illumio primarily? What does your customer base look like? Um, it's interesting because we we see, um, I think we see a broad range of customers from yeah. small customers that have maybe you know 10 or a handful of servers all the way up to some of the larger customers, some big names that I'll give you here in a second. But the, mm-hmm. you know, one of our biggest customers has about 50,000 um, workloads under protection right now, wow. right? With So it's, it's a very scalable solution, but it's mm-hmm. not something that's only for you know, large enterprise. Okay. I'd say anybody who has uh, you know critical assets or critical infrastructure that they want to uh, protect is looking at Illumio. Uh, but some of our um, some of our publicly referenceable customers are folks that you'll probably uh, recognize. People like Salesforce and Workday, wow. Morgan Stanley, um, JPMC, and we've got a few others under the hood as well. But um, you know, there, there are customers obviously that we can't talk uh, talk about. But mm-hmm. we're we're seeing a lot of success in financial services, a lot of su- success in uh, some of the SaaS companies. And again, anybody who has you know critical assets and critical data that they want to protect are looking at uh, looking at our solution. Got it. So no yeah. limit in terms of size at all. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. And so now, why? tell me, why is segmentation important in risk evaluation, and why is your adaptive micro-segmentation approach better? Well, you know, if you look at uh, some of the traditional methods of protecting the data center, a lot of them are very reactive, right? Something has mm-hmm. happened, we want to be able to, to identify that something happened and then figure out what happened and try and fix that or stop it from spreading further. And with micro-segmentation, what we're really doing is changing the topology of the data center. Mm-hmm. We're, you know, th- that first step of, of visibility allows you to understand how things are connected communicating, which is important to, to changing the topology. You want to be able to, to reduce your your um, uh, attack surface is what right. we talk about, right? So mm-hmm. close down the, the available um, pathways that, that maybe aren't uh, pathways that should be open. So that's a big thing that we allow you to do. You kind of start from the ground and build your way up with, um, you know, with segmentation policy to allow for the proper communication between applications and, and infrastructure okay. or, or the components of those applications, I should say. Okay. Yeah. 
Very cool. And so now, can you run us through a case study of how micro segmentation helped one of your customers? Yeah. So we had a we had a big customer that was looking at rolling out a couple of new data centers. And, okay. Um, yeah. This is this is one we see typically. Uh, customers are they turn to what they know, right? Right. So they're looking at um, doing this with um, protecting this environment with uh, traditional firewalls, mm -hmm. right? And they, and they were in a situation where they needed to roll these out under a, a tight time frame, and they, mm -hmm. they had to prove that these environments, you know, they basically hosted customer environments within their within their infrastructure, and they had to prove to both their auditors as well as to their customers that, that they had separation between these environments, that there was no mm -hmm. shared data, there was no shared compute. Okay. Um, they looked at doing this with traditional firewalls, and and um, you know, it turned out to be a pretty daunting task, right? They, they were looking at actually um, if they had gone down the traditional firewall route, which would have been you know high capacity firewall at the top of each and every rack. Right. Not only would it be re really expensive from a capex standpoint, just from you know acquiring that hardware, mm -hmm. but operationally they were looking at about fifteen thousand firewall rules that they would have to create. And then that you know as they expanded, that would just it would grow and, and there'd be more complexity and That's it kind of just much, yeah. And so when they came uh, came to Illumio, they realized that they could take this 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 need to create fifteen thousand firewall rules and actually accomplish the same thing with with uh, about 40 Illumio policies. Wow. So because of the way that we do what we do and because of the way that we kind of abstract infrastructure, mm -hmm. um, we can get you to it through these you know, very powerful high-level policies that actually represent, you know, once you, once you look under under the hood and, and kind of explode these, there's there's tens of thousands of potential uh, rules, fire, what look like firewall rules mm -hmm. behind the scenes. But it, you know, it, was, it was initially that drive to save some, some CapEx, and, and then they realized the operational efficiencies that they could realize as well. And since then, they've, they've um, well, they hit their, their deadline to roll this stuff out. Nice. Um, and they've been able to, to, to really integrate across teams, you know, uh, security infrastructure as well as the application teams okay. to, uh, you know, to, to integrate more automation and provide for uh, these services to roll out and scale at a much faster pace than they could with firewalls. Wonderful. That's yeah. incredible. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so now what about Illumio's momentum in the market? Have there, been, uh, have there been any notable milestones? Well, so I mentioned the, the funding we closed that um, you know, back earlier in, around the summertime, so that yeah. was a big milestone for yeah. us. Um, we, we made a couple of announcements uh, earlier this year. In February, we mm -hmm. made, made an announcement, you know, kind of expanding the our, our footprint or, or the way that we interact with infrastructure. You know, one, one of our bigger goals or our longer term goals is to become that that's kind of core policy engine for whatever it is that you want to use for enforcement. And, you know, mm -hmm. and we're we're quite unique in the way that we do um, segmentation, in that we're we're allowing you to use. The, the firewall that's already built into your operating system. So, you know, it's like one of our core tenants is like, don't buy another firewall. Mm -hmm. You already have all the firewalls you, you need. Um, so we've, we've kind of expanded on that um, vision by uh, making an announcement that we have intent to be able to program um, switches and infrastructure, both Cisco and Arista, mm -hmm. as well as um, eventually security groups and network security groups and, and things like um, AWS and, and Azure. So what this allows customers to do is um, not only use um, enforcement at the OS level, but also mm -hmm. look at layers of enforcement. There's a bunch of use cases that they might want to do that. You know, use those different layers of enforcement for. So that was the first thing. Uh, I, I think you know, bigger announcement was in mm -hmm. the in the summer time frame, we rolled out what we call Illumination 2.0. And Illumination is our, our visibility capability. And so, you know, one of the things that the Lumia does is we gather a bunch of context and telemetry from the environment, mm -hmm. right? We have a presence on each and every one of the workloads, and we can we can glean a lot of um, insight into what's going on uh, okay. from that from that um, you know, from that presence. The first thing that we did, or we do, and we we have done since um, we launched the product was. Uh, create the illumination application dependency map, which is uh, you know here's your apps, here are the components, here's how they're connected and communicating, and and we've learned that this has become you know foundational for everything else that's done with Illumio. We're also we in this announcement, what we're doing is we're taking these insights and mm -hmm. we're looking at other ways that we can we can leverage them. Okay. Um, the first thing is what we call policy generator. So you know as we sit in an environment, we can see how things want to communicate, mm -hmm. and we can start to recommend optimal policy for how we think those things, you know, how we, how okay. we should create policy to, to control that communication. Mm -hmm. So this does a couple of things. Number one, it makes it eliminates a lot of the research and trial and error and testing and things that a team would mm -hmm. traditionally have to do to get policy into, you know, modeled into enforcement. So it makes right. the security, you know, life of the security team easier and faster. Nice. But more importantly, what we're seeing is that the security teams need to work with application teams. And this is a tool mm -hmm. that they can hand over to an application team who maybe doesn't have the, you know, the, the deep security competency. Um, but it gives them a tool that, where they can actually participate in the security conversation. So it's, it's really powerful in that we're, we're enabling these two teams to, to work together much closer, something they've desired to do for, for, for years and, and really have kind of 
Um, they've struggled, to be perfectly mm -hmm. honest, because there's, there's sort of that language gap. So, uh, so policy generator has been a big thing that we're doing with this, the insights. The other thing is called Explorer, where we're right. allowing our customers to look at the data in different ways and, and really ask questions of the data. Um, we see that, that security teams want to see, you know, are there threats that we're not aware of? Where, where can okay. I find that needle in the haystack? So Explorer allows them to ask those questions and, and kind of uncover that hidden risk and then go address that with, uh, with Illumio. Nice. So that was a, yeah, I think that was, that was a big um, uh, announcement for us, and we've seen a, a lot of uptake from that, a lot of interest in customers. Wonderful. Very yeah. cool. Okay. And so now, uh, can you talk about the evolution? I know you touched on it briefly, but the evolution of the security industry and how that drove the need for a company like Illumio. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we see a couple of different things um, that are driving the, the evolution of the security industry. Yeah. Um, number one, yeah, just from an infrastructure standpoint, we see things like virtual Virtualization um, yeah. and cloud have, have really changed uh, sort of the the um, the way applications are developed and delivered, right? And containers are taking that to the next level. Yeah. And then we also see application teams. I mean, for years they've been wanting to move faster and, and put code into the into the world. And you know, in some cases they've kind of gone around the security teams mm -hmm. and, and done their thing, which has been very dangerous. Um, so we see we see these kind of dri driving factors changing the way that security needs to think about the, the service that they're they're providing to the to the, their customers, which are these right. application teams and really the business. Uh, we also see the way that applications are, are structured, you know, and, and and connected behind the firewall. There's there's an increasing amount of of sort of um, uh, communication, which is causing this you know this ability to move laterally, this mm. um, east-west traffic. Um, the, it's causing this need to to look at things differently and and need to control things differently. Um, so all of these are are causing security teams to to kind of rethink the way that they um, uh, provide security, the solutions that they're they're looking to to um, secure these environments, mm -hmm. and also looking for ways that they they need to you know, new ways that they need to work with the the different areas of the business to work more efficiently. Um, some people call it DevSecOps, but it's okay, really that yeah. concept of bringing the teams together that that need to, they can't work in silos anymore. They need to figure out how to all kind of come together. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so now, uh, can you tell me about Illumio's plans for 2018? Oh, man, I wish I could give you, you I know, know, all I the know, details, can, but, you know, to some extent Whatever you have to wait. Whatever you can give me. But, um, you know, we, we actually have some really, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. We have some really great things planned for, for 2018. I, you know, I hope, uh, hope folks keep an eye on us because we're, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we definitely have some things planned that are going to be pretty interesting. But, you know, continue to, um, um, to work with customers and expand our, our footprint in the market, um, make sure that, that our name is known. Um, yeah, I think those are those are kind of a given, mm -hmm. uh, but we have some things on the roadmap that are, okay. are going to be pretty exciting. Nice, so. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, yeah. And uh, are there any last things that you'd like to highlight about the company? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that you know we we are um, definitely seeing a need for segmentation, micro segmentation in the market. We're seeing a lot of customers that are trying to do this with uh, traditional methods with, mm -hmm. with firewalls. And um, what we're seeing is that either sooner or later you're going to hit some of these limits, whether it be you know the fact that you're you're dealing with more dynamic environments with virtualization or. or or containers, or you're dealing with more distributed applications. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have data centers running the same application for redundancy, maybe, or, or right. geo, geo um, um, uh, just to have something in, in geo for performance issues. Or you're thinking about moving to cloud. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are a number of issues that customers are, are, are kind of faced with as they're trying to secure these kind of um, uh, heterogeneous environments. Uh, you know, things don't look the same. You've got some some bare metal. You have some virtualization. You mm -hmm. have different um, hypervisors. You want to be multi-cloud. Um, yeah. The traditional firewall method is is kind of breaking down for a lot of customers. So that that's where we see a lot of people interested in micro segmentation and specifically in Illumio because uh, we're helping a lot of folks solve those problems. So wonderful! Yeah. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Right. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me by. Absolutely. All right. And that's all the time we have for today. So be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.